Welcome to our comprehensive guide on flecainide, a medication commonly prescribed for the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias. In this video, we will delve into the uses, benefits, and potential side effects of flecainide, providing you with a well-rounded understanding of this important drug. Whether you are a healthcare professional looking to expand your knowledge or a patient seeking clarity on your prescribed medication, this guide aims to provide you with valuable insights. We will explore the mechanism of action of flecainide, its different forms, and the conditions it can effectively manage. Additionally, we will discuss the potential side effects and precautions associated with its use, ensuring that you are well informed and empowered to make the best decisions for your health. So, let's embark on this journey of understanding flecainide together, and equip ourselves with the knowledge to navigate its benefits and risks effectively. What is flecainide? Flecainide is an antiarrhythmic medication that belongs to the class of drugs known as sodium channel blockers. It is primarily used to restore and maintain normal heart rhythm in patients with certain types of arrhythmias, such as atrial fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. By blocking the flow of sodium ions into the heart cells, flecainide helps to stabilize the electrical signals in the heart, preventing abnormal rhythms and promoting a regular heartbeat. Flecainide is available in different forms, including tablet and extended release capsule. The tablet form is usually taken multiple times a day, while the extended release capsule is taken once or twice daily. The dosage and frequency of administration may vary depending on the individual's specific condition and response to the medication. It is important to follow the prescribed instructions and consult with a healthcare professional for proper guidance. How does flecainide work? Flecainide works by inhibiting the flow of sodium ions into the cardiac cells, thereby slowing down the electrical impulses in the heart. This action helps to restore and maintain a normal heart rhythm. By blocking the sodium channels, flecainide reduces the excitability of the heart cells and prevents the rapid firing of electrical signals that can lead to arrhythmias. It is worth noting that flecainide has a higher affinity for the open or inactivated sodium channels, meaning it has a stronger effect on the cardiac cells during abnormal rhythms. This targeted mechanism of action allows flecainide to selectively suppress arrhythmias while minimizing its impact on the normal electrical activity of the heart. Uses of flecainide Flecainide is primarily prescribed for the management of cardiac arrhythmias, specifically atrial fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. Atrial fibrillation is a condition characterized by a regular and rapid heartbeat originating from the atria, while ventricular tachycardia involves a rapid heart rate originating from the ventricles. Flecainide helps to restore and maintain a normal heart rhythm in these conditions, improving symptoms and reducing the risk of complications. Apart from its use in arrhythmias, flecainide may also be prescribed for certain other conditions, such as paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia (PSVT) and Wolff-Parkinson-White syndrome (WPW). PSVT is a type of arrhythmia that originates above the ventricles, while WPW syndrome is a congenital condition characterized by an abnormal electrical pathway in the heart. In these cases, flecainide can be used to regulate heart rhythm and prevent episodes of rapid heartbeat. It is important to note that flecainide should only be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional, as its use requires careful monitoring and adjustment of dosage based on individual response and tolerance. Common Side Effects of Flecainide like any medication, flecainide can cause certain side effects. These side effects are usually mild and transient, resolving on their own as the body adjusts to the medication. Common side effects of flecainide may include dizziness, headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and blurred vision. These effects are generally well tolerated and do not require immediate medical attention. However, if these side effects persist or worsen, it is important to inform your healthcare provider. It is worth noting that individual response to flecainide may vary, and not everyone will experience the same side effects. Some individuals may tolerate the medication well and have minimal or no side effects, while others may experience more pronounced symptoms. It is important to communicate any changes or concerns to your healthcare provider, as they can provide guidance and make adjustments to your treatment plan if necessary. Serious Side Effects of Flecainide while rare, flecainide can potentially cause serious side effects that require immediate medical attention. These serious side effects may include severe dizziness, fainting, chest pain, shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, or new or worsened arrhythmias. These symptoms may indicate a serious reaction to the medication and should not be ignored. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to seek medical help immediately or call emergency services. Another serious side effect associated with flecainide is an increased risk of proarrhythmia, 
which refers to the development of new or worsened arrhythmias as a result of the medication. Proarrhythmia can be life-threatening and requires prompt medical intervention. It is important to be aware of any changes in your heart rhythm or symptoms while taking flecainide and report them to your healthcare provider immediately. Precautions and warnings when taking flecainide. Before starting flecainide, it is important to inform your healthcare provider about any pre-existing medical conditions, allergies, or medications you are currently taking. Certain conditions and medications may interact with flecainide or increase the risk of adverse effects. It is particularly important to mention any history of heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, or electrolyte imbalances. Flecainide should be used with caution in patients with structural heart disease, as it can increase the risk of proarrhythmia. Regular monitoring of heart rhythm and function is essential during flecainide therapy. In some cases, additional tests such as electrocardiograms ECGs, may be necessary to assess the efficacy and safety of the medication. It is also important to note that flecainide may interact with certain medications, including other antiarrhythmic drugs, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and certain antidepressants. These interactions can increase the risk of adverse effects or alter the effectiveness of the medications. It is crucial to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications you are taking to avoid potential interactions. Drug Interactions with Flecainide Flecainide has the potential to interact with several medications, including other antiarrhythmic drugs, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and certain antidepressants. These interactions can affect the metabolism, efficacy, and safety of flecainide, potentially leading to serious side effects or reduced effectiveness of the medications. When combined with other antiarrhythmic medications, flecainide can increase the risk of proarrhythmia, a potentially life-threatening condition characterized by new or worsened arrhythmias. Beta blockers and calcium channel blockers can enhance the effects of flecainide, leading to excessive slowing of the heart rate or blood pressure. Some antidepressants, particularly those belonging to the class of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, can increase the concentration of flecainide in the blood, potentially leading to toxicity. It is important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications you are taking, including prescription drugs, over-the-counter medications, and herbal supplements. Your healthcare provider can evaluate potential drug interactions and make adjustments to your treatment plan to ensure safety and efficacy. Dosage and administration of flecainide. The dosage and administration of flecainide may vary depending on the individual's condition, response to the medication, and other factors. It is important to follow the prescribed instructions provided by your healthcare provider and not exceed the recommended dose. Flecainide is typically started at a low dose and gradually increased based on the individual's response and tolerance. The tablet form of flecainide is usually taken multiple times a day, while the extended release capsule is taken once or twice daily. It is important to take the medication as prescribed and at regular intervals to maintain a consistent level in the body. Missing doses or taking extra doses can disrupt the therapeutic effect and increase the risk of side effects. If you forget to take a dose of flecainide, it is important to take it as soon as you remember, unless it is close to the time for your next scheduled dose. In that case, it is best to skip the missed dose and resume your regular dosing schedule. Doubling the dose to make up for a missed dose is not recommended, as it can increase the risk of side effects. Alternative Treatments for Flecainide While flecainide is an effective medication for managing certain types of cardiac arrhythmias, there may be alternative treatments available depending on the individual's condition and response to therapy. In some cases, lifestyle modifications, such as stress reduction, regular exercise, and a healthy diet, may help to improve heart health and reduce the frequency or severity of arrhythmias. For individuals who are unable to tolerate or do not respond well to flecainide, other antiarrhythmic medications, such as beta blockers or calcium channel blockers, may be considered. These medications work through different mechanisms and can be used as alternatives or in combination with flecainide to achieve optimal control of arrhythmias. In certain cases, non-pharmacological approaches, such as catheter ablation or implantation of a pacemaker or defibrillator, may be recommended. These interventions aim to restore normal heart rhythm or provide additional support to the heart's electrical system. The decision to pursue alternative treatments should be made in consultation with a healthcare provider, taking into consideration the individual's specific condition, preferences, and goals of therapy. Conclusion Flecainide is a valuable medication for the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias, providing relief from symptoms and reducing the risk of complications. By understanding its mechanism of action, uses, and potential side effects, individuals can make informed decisions about their treatment and actively participate in their healthcare journey.
It is important to remember that flecainide should only be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional, as its use requires careful monitoring and adjustment of dosage based on individual response and tolerance. Regular follow-up appointments and communication with your healthcare provider are essential to ensure the safe and effective use of flecainide. Remember, this comprehensive guide is meant to provide general information and should not replace personalized medical advice. If you have any concerns or questions about flecainide or your specific condition, it is always best to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide tailored guidance and support. Thanks for watching.